I saw George Garzon last night. It's hard not to play that stuff after a night of that in your head. <laughs> moving on the mouthpiece. All right, so that's not even the reed's fault. Let's see what's going on here. All right, here's the second of the three, number 30. This one's a little harder to play, uh, and that's where the problem lies. <laughs> Uh... 
That's the fourth of the five. Kind of like it. Sounds like a Tolkien novel. Although probably not. So here it is. <laughs> and a little bit of a more solid tone a little less nasal the other one had a bit of a nasal quality to it which drives me crazy um, the sound that, that the reed produces that I'm able to produce is so important for me that it, it, it's really it's really a deciding factor in the reeds that I use and which ones work good for me in addition if they're not too hard to blow that's really another part of the reality for me um, so yeah <laughs> ¶¶ 